Welcome to another Function Friday video. In this video, we're going to go over two formulas, the function for text, T-E-X-T -E function, and the value function, V-A-L-U-E. We're going to use them to help us do a little customization to our change order form on SharePoint. So basically, when you have the default form on SharePoint, if I were to click on one of these items, the panel pops up on the right, and I'll see that my cost estimate is formatted in this way, right? Now, however, if I hit edit, the dollar sign will go away because I'm in edit mode. So is it possible for me to have the dollar sign there even in edit mode? Oh, yep, it is. Now, what I'm going to do is show you first how this is formatted in SharePoint. So I'm going to go to the list settings and I'm going to go to that field cost estimate. And you'll notice that this is formatted as currency. So, you know, that is the dependency when you're dealing with SharePoint um, as far as getting the dollar sign to show up in the view mode. But when it comes to Power Apps, we can always format any number as currency from within the control. And I'm going to show you how to do that. We can also compare control values to another number for business logic. So in this case, I've been told that any cost above $5,000 requires a second level approval. So for this demo, I'm just going to show you how I compare the cost value that's typed in the form with $5,000. Okay, I'm going to do that first. And then I'll show you how you can format the field, the control field, to always show the dollar sign. All right. So let's first just do customize forms to open up our canvas where we can um, edit the form and add our own business logic. What's going to happen is, unlike when you say create an app, this time Power Apps is going to open, open us up in a brand new form view. So it's going to create a new uh, revised um, canvas for us and it's going to have one screen on it with a form control on it so that we can edit it. Now we can always add other things to the um, form that it gives us, um, but this is what it gives us like out of the box. And you, you can always tell that you've selected customized form rather than create an app because one, you'll only have one screen and two, you'll see this back to SharePoint in the upper left-hand corner. You'll also, three, notice that there'll be a SharePoint integration object right here at the top. That, and that object is part of what's used to help remember, you know, are, did they press edit? Did they press new? Did they press view? So it's paying attention to what's happening on SharePoint. Now, I want to start by comparing this cost estimate with a $5,000 value. In order to do that comparison, I have to look at this number as a number. And we're going to see that because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the rules panel and I'm going to say new rule. Now, I've selected the cost estimate control. The reason is because that's my decision maker. It depends on what the value is in here as to what should happen in my rules. So I'm going to start with that since that's my driver. I'm going to click new rule and I'm going to say add, add a condition. And now I'm going to say greater than and just type 5,000. Now, what you'll notice is I get an error right away. Let's try to zoom into this error. It says invalid argument type expecting a number and it squiggly line reds under data card value now nine. So what I can do is come out of there and I can just wrap this in a value function so that that data card nine text value is read as a number, okay? And so I can do that to make sure that this value in here can be compared to 5,000. And so the value function is just helping me take something that is normally seen as text and turn it in, force it to be a number. Then I'm going to define actions here, and I'm just going to um, make the border of this control red. 
um, because it's over 5,000. Of course, I can do any number of things. Um, let's make it uh, let's make it a dotted um, item and let's fill it with uh, a pink color and then we'll say we're done. And then we're done. So now if we were to run this, when we click in that field and we type more than 5,000, and I'm going to type 5,001, now it gets that dotted outline and it's filled in red. So the value function is working there for us nicely. Now, I want to do a couple more things, though. I'd actually like this number to show as uh, with a dollar sign and proper formatting for currency. So this is where I'm going to use the text function. So I'm just going to show you this on the Power Apps community, and I'll put this link in the video description as well. This is the page where you can get all your text function tips. And the format that I want, actually, is this one down here, where it places a thousand separator every three digits and includes a currency symbol. So it would do this kind of thing here. So I'm going to use this right here. So I can either copy it, but I know it by heart, so I'm just going to go do it. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go to the default value of this field, making sure that it's unlocked so that I can change it. And then I'm going to put in here text to start with that text function. And then what field do we want to work with? We want to work with the cost estimate field. And what format do we want? We want that number format that we saw on the Power Apps community. I can also put cents here if I want, right? Um, and if I want to see that zero, I can do that as well. So you can use this number format here. Now, it's very interesting that if you go to Excel and you look in Excel for the custom number formats, you'll find a lot of tips for how to use these formats here. Or you can use uh, this site here to um, figure out how you'd like your your format to look. Notice that I could have done this one here too, one decimal place, right? Um, okay, so I'm going to now go uh, back to SharePoint and save and publish, which will make sure I save as well as publish my changes for everyone in that list, including those that don't have editing rights. They will all see it because I have published my change. And now if we open up uh, the view of this, if I click on this, you'll open up the view panel. Let me just refresh. My mach machine slowed down a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to click on this item to look at it in the view mode. And it pops up over here. And we'll notice in just a few seconds that because this is over 5,000, we have the formatting and the red um, background on this. If I click Edit All, we did not lose that formatting, even in Edit Mode. If I cancel this and instead press New, I still get my dollar sign. So I have forced my dollar sign to be persistent in every state of this form. But just remember that this all works very nicely and give it a try. Try the text function out and the value function when you have time and let me know if that helps you when you're customizing your forms. Thank you and I look forward to our next um, Friday Functions video.